Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Moments Kurzawa card to review today. So uh, the big variable that exists with this card right now is obviously that 451 link to the Neymar card, right? So that's the big thing that people are definitely going to be looking at when it comes to this Kurzawa card. Now, the thing that pops up to mind right away is the fact that he has the medium low work rate. It's a very, very strange work rate to have. We'll see how that performs in game because honestly with fullbacks, um, I feel like the work rates are more noticeable in the attack than it is in defense if they have very good base characteristics for defense, right? So we're taking a look at a card that is six foot tall with medium low work rates, left footed, four star skills with a three star weak foot. In regards to in-game player traits, he has the injury prone trait. As you guys know, I always tell people they got to take that out of the game because it's super annoying. But he's got 94 acceleration with 87 sprint speed. So, hmm. This card is formatted in a very interesting way because he's a tall player with good dribbling stats. And that's always super nice to have in the fullback position to transition really well, to move up the pitch and come back really well. Um, it's kind of telling me so far to give him an anchor chemistry style, I would say, for the plus five in the acceleration, plus five for sprint speed while boosting his defense as much as possible while being a big player at six foot tall, while also boosting his physical stats to an 83 for aggression while giving him 81 strength. This card also looks kind of cool with a hunter chemistry style to boost his shooting as much as possible as well as his pace while using him in a left mid position. So for the sake of the review, what I'll be doing is I'm going to be using him with an anchor chemistry style because we're going to be trying him out in two different positions. It's going to be the left back position as well as the left mid position because this card actually looks like it has a very good attacking presence because if I were to give him an anchor chemistry style and he has that defensive characteristic with the shooting stats that he does, he could be a really good player to uh, rotate into that left mid position given the circumstances of the game in that 3-5-2 because he, ha he actually has a shooting presence as well as a dribbling one with the height that he has. So dribbling we're going to be testing out in game as well um, because that's definitely going to be very, very important. But base card stats for shooting for a fullback looks great. Passing for a fullback is perfectly fine. You don't have to really uh, focus too much on that. Uh, dribbling, like we keep saying, very important that he's six foot tall with those dribbling stats. Base card stats for defense is decent because with the uh, defensive boost that we give the card, Definitely very nice as well, but it's the physical boost from the base card stats that's going to be very helpful too. So um, we'll see what the medium low work rates do in game. Uh, for the sake of the review, we try out these two different formations uh, to try out these types of cards. So we're going to be using uh, the 3 5 2, right, with Kurzawa playing as Kurzawa playing as a left mid. Robin off there, De Jong with Herrera. We'll switch that off there. Instructions will have this, 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 and do this. This one will have get in behind. No, don't put get in behind. I just want to put come back on the fence. No, don't even put come back on the fence. We'll just have this on stay forward. Yeah, so that's the attacking one. We're going to have to make sure this is on five and five, five and five. I need to see what his base characteristics are like in regards to attacking and defending when I don't force the instructions out of him for the three, five, two. And then. The formation that I will start off with, because he is a left back, is going to be the 4-3-2-1, because it's a great formation to try out fullbacks in. The rest of the players, I don't really care where they're positioned. I just want to make sure that we are doing this with the tactics on balance, balanced, balance, balance, and then the instruction is only stay back while attacking cover center for the center mid. So yeah, we'll get into a game. We'll see how he plays. Hopefully he plays well in both positions. Uh, the biggest things that I want to experiments with is definitely going to be his work rates as well as his uh dribbling capabilities so yeah let's get into a game and see how he plays okay guys we'll start off with the 4 3 2 one we'll see what his dribbling is like here okay okay dribbling is going to be really good guys dribbling with his height and physical stats is going to be awesome it's kind of like using players like Kleiber and stuff to um for him to be able to kind of like dribble out of position. We'll do a little flick up here. See what the emphasis is like. Yeah. His dribbles are really quick, guys. So defensively, that's going to be very nice to have. I'm going to force him on the attack over here. Let's see what his pace is like. Pace is not too bad. He doesn't have that light body type to be able to run faster, obviously. But not going to be an issue. Okay, so nothing here. Tracks back into position really well. 
like I said, guys, the medium low work rates, when it comes to work rates on fullbacks, I notice it more for the attack than I do for the defense. So, you can see even on medium low, he still pushes up a little bit here. Testing out his dribbling a little bit. Pass on the inside. Six to the side position. Yeah, this card will be really nice to have as an uh, attacking-oriented fullback. Medium-low work rates are not going to affect this card that much for that variable. Mm, so originally he wasn't in his position right there, but then he did go into it afterwards. Yeah, you can see right there he actually occupies the middle position and switches with one of the center mids, which happens a lot, obviously. That's why it's always good to have attacking and defensive-oriented midfielders. Um, so that they can do that constant rotation. That was a really nice cross, actually. That was a great cross. I think if I have like a Hunter chemistry style on Juan Felix, I'd probably score that opportunity. But um, yeah, he involves himself in the attack really nicely right there. Let's see if he does it again here. Yeah, he still does. Little cross here. Head that. Try to shot cancel on the new patch. <laughs> Shot cancel is still pretty effective. It's not like uh, it doesn't really. Oh, he goes into the middle there in that situation for the four three two one. Ball roll touch. Shot from that angle. Yeah, it's not bad. His shooting is actually quite nice for that fullback position. Shield. Drag back upwards. Touch. It's forced to run out of him right here. Okay. Now he's out of position. Let's see what he does here. Okay, so you can see that this guy at top actually occupies his position, which is why Krizawa actually stays in the midfield position. Because he's going to be a defensive-oriented player. Like I said, I, I feel like I notice the work rates of a card more on the attack than I do in the defensive area. So it's when he pushes up and then he has to track back where you may notice that he doesn't come back as much, right? But with cards like this, you mostly use them on stay back while attacking anyway. So is it really that big of a deal? In my opinion, not so much, right? So... You can see even with the medium low work rates, like he definitely still commits into the attack. Like it's not really a big deal there. Uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to switch him to stay back while attacking, and uh, we're try to we'll try to make the opponent attack a little bit more uh, just to see what he's like positioning wise in the uh, actual fullback position. I don't want to touch nothing here. Let's see how he tracks back here. That guy occupies his position. Now he's playing center mid. You see that? And now he goes into the fullback position. I don't. I honestly don't think the work race is that, is going to be that big of an issue. To be honest with you guys, like I said, it's it's probably going to be mostly for the attacking AI. Okay, so I don't want to touch anything here. I mean, like I said, guys, I don't really think it's going to be that big of a deal. The second half, I want to try him on the three-five-two. I want to see what his base characteristics is like when I don't force the instructions out of him. Yeah, offers a strong physical presence right there to get that ball back. I don't think he's going to be like a top-tier meta card by any means, but I still think he's going to. I still think he's going to be a pretty good left back to have that will offer you that physical presence, and I think that's going to be very important. So yeah, let's switch to the three-five-two this time, um, which is going to be this one, and uh, we'll see how he plays there. His tracking right there is actually kind of nice. Blocks the guy in the middle the entire time. And so go right there, we'll take that. Yeah, so we're going to be trying him out in the left mid position this time. Let's see what's up. Yeah, so I can tell you guys so far that he definitely won't be like a full meta card for sure. Because obviously having the work rates to be able to have more options is definitely going to be a very nice thing to have. Which is why high medium and high high is usually the go-to work rates for fullbacks. But I still think the card is going to be pretty solid to have. Especially if you have him on stay back while attacking. If you want that PSG link, right? First time cross. There we go. That's why the 3-5-2 is good. Spreading out the play like that and being able to cross the ball in that area to score those opportunities is definitely... Very, very nice. So you have that variable with this card, right? If you want to play him as a left mid and offer an attacking and defensive presence, it's not going to be crazy. 
Uh, but the medium low work rates, I don't think it's going to affect the card for what people want to do mostly with him, right? So um, on the attack, he still offers himself on the attack. In the defense, he still defends really well for the most part. He's not he's not going to be on Kleiber's level or anything like that, but or level, excuse me, but he's still going to be pretty solid. You can tell that his running is very physical oriented, right? So it actually makes him slower. Um, so you may want to give him a shadow chemistry style for that, but I really don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, especially if you have him on stay back while attacking. And in those situations, I am forcing the run to show that that is a base, char base characteristic from him. Um, so if he's ever caught out of position, moments like this, you're going to notice that. It's the way that he runs in a straight line that you notice it's not uh, necessarily very light. But if he does get up to the person and use his physical stats as well as his defensive stats, he'll be able to get the ball. But it is a card that I mostly see on stay back while attacking for sure. Even right here, he doesn't really cut inside. We'll try a shot from that angle. We score, but he is upside. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wanted to try the strike there on his right foot off balance from the uh, from the roulette. Didn't work out though. Yeah, I mean, even in this situation right here, you guys can see that he's well positioned. The game is really bad in regards to receiving the ball once you're in front of it, but. I mean, he's well positioned even in the 3-5-2. I don't have him on comeback and defense, but he has that defensive capability to block that area. All right, guys, so final verdict on the Kurzawa card. So this is a card I would definitely give the anchor chemistry style to to boost his acceleration and sprint speed as much as possible. As you guys can see in the review, his chase after animation is slower. He has the animation where he's kind of very heavy when he has to chase after the guy, right? So, you know, if you have him on the attack and he has to come back in the defense, that's where you really notice the medium low work rates and body type playing into effect, right? However, with a card like this on stay back while attacking, I really don't think his work rates is that big of a an issue the important thing with this card for me is going to be mostly defensive awareness and just being in the right areas at the right time to defend now because of that sluggish feel to the card he's not necessarily going to be a full meta oriented card but with the french and psg links to work with on an sbc like this especially for that neymar link it's still a pretty cool sbc to do in regards to that but is he a full meta oriented card i wouldn't say so i prefer uh players like the headliners uh tavernier card i thought he was really really good um there was also another fullback that I reviewed at the time too and i forgot who it was but he was really awesome too that they released um and i don't think krizawa is on that level but is he going to be a good left back to have on stay back while attacking i do think he's going to be pretty solid because he does have that physical presence as long as he's on stay back while attacking i don't think his defensive awareness is going to be that big of an issue in that fullback position this is also a card that you can rotate into the left mid area if you're playing a 352 system he'll definitely be well positioned to be able to cross the ball inside the 18 yard box but also offer a defensive presence for you because even when I didn't tell him to come back and defense, he was still able to defend for me without me forcing the instruction on him. So the low work rate part of the car for the defense isn't that noticeable, to be honest. It's more noticeable if you're using a four at the back formation uh, and he's forcing himself forward on the attack, especially if you have like a center mid always rotating with him in that left back position. So I think it's a good SBC to do. Only if you want to work with that French and Neymar link, especially since it is a French PSG link. So you can get that triple link set up already with Mbappe's card. So it just really depends on the situation of your club. But again, on stay back while attacking, it's a decent uh, left back, just not a meta one, right? So, or a full meta one, excuse me, not on the level of like Ferlin Mendy and stuff. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.